treachery, the kings of lechery, raise the anchor, trip the sail. We raise an eye if winds prevail. Invincible, we fight to the end. United to a man, we need no battle plan. how they did it in Hollywood with stars like Errol Flynn and Douglas Fairbanks. If you'd like to join me on the deck of the ship, we'll be having the second part of the show for you, and we'll show you how the pirates really did it. <laughs> A little sword fight. Okay, join me up there. <laughs> Using pirate gold. Get your pirate gold. Thank you. We're giving them away free. <laughs> lovely ice cream. <laughs> and you, sir, a lovely free sample. Oh, bless you. Thank you, my child. Thank you. Bye. I'm, I'm with them. Listen, turn that thing down, OK? OK. Come on, hurry up. Thrust. Lunge and parry, in and out. Huh? Yeah! She'll do it! You guys! Great, here you are. Now come on up here. That's it. That, the, uh, sorry. Huh. Hmm, not bad. Guess you'll have to do. What's your name? Mabel! Mabel? Hmm. Okay, uh, okay, Mabel. Get this tip up. Here you go, right? Ole. Ole. Um. Ole. Well, here, look. First, add a go. Put, put both hands around, two hands together. And it's and it's not ole, it's touche, meaning touch. Touch. Now, less than a hundred years ago, pirates used to really operate around here, raping and pillaging. God, I'd hate to be pillaged. Killing. Note the footwork. Right? Fate so, lunge so, and... My point penetrates you. Give her a hand, girls. Give her a hand. Way to go. Come on down here. Very good, very good. Hey, Myrtle. Mabel. Okay? Uh, Mabel. Sorry. Listen, I'm gonna be taking my boat over later to Pirate Rock to do a bit of skin diving, searching for some treasure. Wanna come? Me? You're kidding. No. Listen. I got a great boat, bunks and everything. Oh, hey, why don't you bring a few of your friends along? It's going to be great fun. Don't want to miss that. Oh. <laughs> you too? All of you? Oh. Hey, stop. Where's Mabel? Hey, quickly, let's get moving. Here she comes. Oh, Mabel. For a while there, I thought you weren't going to make it. Oh. What are you doing? Hey, Stop. Line, Mabel. What's going hey, on? Like next time. Stop fooling around, will you? Come on, you can't Stop leave her there. Don't play with your Barbie doll.
last battle of Frederick's youth, Sam. Isn't he wonderful? Stand by and repel borders! Captain. Sprammy. An Irish tenor, no less. Oh. We could use an Irish tenor, lad. Oh. Soprano. <laughs> Even better. To live and die under the brave black flag, I fly. Then play a hypocritical part with a pirate head and a pirate heart. Away to the world across the seas, where pirates all have law degrees. But I'll be true to the song I sing and live and die a pirate king. For I am a pirate king. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Pirate King. I am a Pirate King. You are the Pirate King. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Pirate King. Yes, forth to seek my prey, I crush my foes in a royal way. The ladies yield and the ships go down. Or is it the other way around? <laughs> but many a king in a gilded tower, if he wants to cling to pomp and power, must manage somehow to get through more dirty work than ever I do. <laughs> And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Pirate King. I am the Pirate King. You are the Pirate King. And it is, it is a glorious thing to be the Pirate King. It is the Pirate King. I am the Pirate King. Sew that up, love. Today, Frederick, you join us as a full-fledged member of our band. Your apprenticeship papers, 21 today. Speak! I'd hope to spare you this. Though as friends, I love you all. But today, today I leave you forever. What? Why, this is lunacy! I cannot forget! I cannot forget it was cutthroats such as you who murdered my family and left me an orphan. Not fair, Freddy. We're orphans ourselves. We would never hurt an orphan. Yes, I know, but... I fulfilled my contract, and I feel honor-bound to devote myself, heart and soul to your extermination. 
Extermination? Sounds a little harsh, Frederick. Such is my sense of duty. <laughs> well, if you conscientiously feel that it is your duty to destroy us, we cannot really blame you. It's the way I've raised you. I've been... I've been as low and vicious as I could. But something inside tells me there's there's more to life. I, I know it. More, more, more than piracy. <sighs> Late, lately, I've been restless. I've been consumed by some inner fire. And all I think about is girls. Oh, I've waited 20 years for this. <sighs> the sea, Frederick, is a jealous mistress. But she is her own reward. Believe me, you've missed nothing. Tell him, men, have you missed anything these 20 years at sea? Sex! What about love? Love for a pilot is the kiss of a salt wind, the curve of a white sail, the whisper of an enemy's well-slit throat. That's love, Frederick. Show him, shipmates! <laughs> I'll miss you. I'll miss you all very much. But my mind is made up. Oh, then so be it. I know you'll think me just an old softy. But in return for all your years of loyal service, I make you captain of your own ship. <laughs> I shall command her with pride. And someday... Ah, there's always a someday, Brit. <laughs> She'll have a long wait. She's the youngest, and by noble custom, the eldest must marry first, which makes me first. Me second. And me third. Geez, we'll all be 50. Thank you. 
ready. You always were a careless boy. Thank you. By the way, is there a definite no back there? Ruth, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but tell me honestly. Now, compared to other women, are you beautiful? Oh, I have been told so. Ah, but lately? Yeah. By Samuel. Of course, he was drunk at the time.
Not bad. Thanks. Do you live around here? I've... I've never lived till now. So the good parts arrived too late to save my parents, rest their souls. But my mother hurled me through the flames and into the king's arms. And he raised me as his own apprentice. You poor thing. Pirates? You mean like walking the plank, buried treasure, hack slash off with his head and the Jolly Richard and everything? Roger. Oh, Roger, I love it. No, Frederick, without a K? Mabel, also without a K. God, we have so much in common. Mabel? Pretty bad, huh? Oh, no, I love it. Mabel. Listen, I know this is gonna sound silly, but I think I love you. I think I might even want to marry you. God, that was a short love scene. But yes. Oh, no, we've got this dumb custom. There's got to be a way out. We've got to see my father. Oh, well, listen, I haven't had much practice at seeing fathers. Well, don't worry. He's just the same as any other ordinary major general. Major general? Oh, no. No, 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 no. Frederick, trust me. Wow, come here. Yeah, I thought the bells came afterwards. so hot, you'd have them all and none for us. Well, now, who dares disturb our dalliance? I do! What? Well, now, we've saved the best to last. Keep out of this, Mabel! <laughs> Mabel? You'll be hung! Oh, I am. I am. And very well, thank you. You said Frederick and my sister's free or die! <laughs> You see, the blade grows heavy. She cannot raise it to my heart. I'm not aiming at your heart. Yeah. I'm 
promises, promises. as well as you fight. No! M Mabel, tell him! What could she say to foil our sport? My father... Yes. ...is... Yes? ...a Major General. Oh. A Major General? That'll do it. Yes, yes, he's a Major General. Yes, yes, he is a Major General. Yes, yes, I am a Major General. Papa! Not now, darling, I'm on. model of a modern major general. I've information vegetable, animal, and mineral. I know the kings of England, and I quote the fight historical. From Marathon to Waterloo, in order categorical. I'm very well acquainted with matters mathematical. I understand equations both that. physical and quadratical. About my numeral theory, I'm teeming with a lot of news. With many cheerful facts about the square of the hypotenuse. Papa! Darling, this is my big number. Now play along with this. Our lives may depend on it. I'm very good at integral and differential calculus. I know the scientific names of beings and amalculus. In short, in man is vegetable, animal, and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. <laughs> Verse 2. I comprehend contemporary culture, North American. I straighten more piratical erections than Boderic, and I'm into Est and all the rest. I've undergone analysis. I jog beyond the grab due to permanent paralysis. My muse is into music with my credit, I'll not trouble you. From R and B to S and M, cross over C and W to groove one with the doobies and my Malibu white soul and toes. Man, I'm older than the Beatles, but I'm younger than the Rolling Stones. <laughs> My military knowledge for I'm plucky and adventury embraces mash and Star Wars in the 22nd century. Yes, sir, I'm an adventurable animal and mineral. I am the very model of a modern major general. Myself. I should like to have some idea of what's going on in my garden. Uh, Papa, we... I mean, Frederick and I... Permit me, sir. I'll explain in two words. It's a beach party, and I'm Frankie Avalon. And I'm Annette Funicello. <laughs> Don't listen to them, Papa. They're pirates. The famous pirates of Penzance. <laughs> what? The pirates of Penzance? The very rogues who stole my family's fortune on the high seas a score of years ago. Our last score was years ago. <laughs> Papa, all except this gentleman. He was a pirate. But he now means to go straight as my husband. Hey, you fox. I'll be best man, naturally. <laughs> An idea. <clears throat> uh, tell me, kind sir. Have you ever known what it is to be an orphan? Oh, shit! An orphan, sir, and a fine singer, too. Of course you may go. You're all free. Oh, excuse me, please. Come, lads. We've a ship to float. Free her keel and raise that chain, do, Dad. Uh, anchor. No, Sam. Just disappointment. Oh. Another 20 years at sea will ease this petty melancholy. For I am the pirate king, and I'll buy this orphan thing. We'll go away without dismay, but we'll be returning. Oh, Are you all right? Fine. I don't trust these guys. What? Not that fine. Mm. You know, I thought I lost you, but I'll light a thousand candles for the luck that kept you safe. Luck? I almost took that twit. Yeah, you did well for a woman. But now there's a man's work to be done. I'm gonna keep watch until the ship is safely over the horizon. Woman? Yes, what about this custom? Yes, but how about this custom? I'm the eldest at uh, 23. 
33. All right, back to the castle, the lot of you. Oh, 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 yeah. The custom is irrelevant. Youngest or oldest, I cannot allow you to marry this penniless adventurer. Why not? Well, he's a nasty pirate person. And besides, he's poor. They're anchoring outside the cove! Common fellow. But if he wasn't poor? Mm hmm. Diamonds, rubies, gold coins? Oh, what a nice boy. Even if it wasn't his money? Well, for your happiness. Whose money? Yours. Mine? The family treasures, stolen from you by the pirates. Supposing Frederick were to recover them, minus salvage rights, expenses, attorney's fees, my commission. And if he fails? If he fails, we'll shack up. Here's what we do. We swim out to the ship, board it, get the stolen treasure, and swim back. Easy, right? What's the matter? I've... I've never seen a woman like that before. The body is an eight. The brain is a ten. So let's go. Here? Well, where is it? It fell overboard on some uncharted reef. What? But there's a map. Where? Well, the king's got it. The king's got it. Well, how do we get it? Oh, it's tattooed on his back. Tattooed on his back? Yeah, but no one's ever seen it. He never takes his shirt off in public. I'll make him take his shirt off. How? Oh, get, get something to write on and, and meet me. Or die. Nymph. Nymphette. Nympho. I was in the neighborhood and I saw your light on. Today, you tried to kill me. Well, uh, some people send flowers. I fancy a chap. I try to kill him. Come on. My little nymphette, you can trust me. Come on. Is that a dagger in your pocket, or are you just glad to see me? Oh, oh, pardon. Why don't you, um, take off your shirt? No. Tell me, what's the age of consent around here? 18. Good. I'm old enough. Ooh! Uh, how, how about a drink first? Let's get sloshed. Help yourself. There's some on the windowsill. Ouch. Cheers. Uh, bottoms up. Aha! Ladies' choice. I like that. sail around his misery. Let's try taking your shirt off. Oh, uh, no, no. Um, how about you? You first. Why? You, you, 
Because I'm shy. Uh, and I'm, I'm also a feminist, so that naturally means that the man goes first. Wonderful. Nice to meet a woman who knows her place. <sighs> oh. 202 push-ups a day. Now. Ah, uh, I need to brush here. No! G uh, goosebumps. I've got goosebumps. Push-ups. I recommend... Push-ups. Let me fix this window. Then we'll fix your goosebumps, my little nympho. I know all about art. I just don't know what I like. This is a very... Surely you don't tease. No, uh, there's just this one little thing that I forgot to tell you. Mm. Are you ready for this? Go for it. <laughs> oh. Oh, this is just perfect. Oh, my. Oh, those muscles. Oh. oh I'm gonna faint. I'm gonna faint. Just, oh, that's so good. Oh, it's perfect. Just, just a little more to the left. Oh, oh, that's great. Oh, yeah, I like that. Uh, that's, that's good. That's very good. I like that. Just a little bit, just, just a little to the, oh, that's so good. Oh, I love it. Oh, God, I can't stand it anymore. If you don't stop, I'll die. More, 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 more. Oh, that's wonderful, more. Oh, my God, uh, just a little to the left. Oh, oh, my God, don't stop. This is incredible. That's, oh, you are really turning me on, I must say. This is wonderful. You ready yet? There's just one more thing. There is. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> you and your little games. Ah. I love an interesting woman. Where are you, my little nymphette? Where are you? Oh, where are you? Be gentle, Mabel. Oh! <laughs> Mabel, your goosebumps have grown. So that was sex, huh? I don't see what there is to get so excited about. Where's the map? What are those things for? Well, I, I put a hole in the ship and it's sinking. After all, they were my friends. Oh, Frederick. Look out! Raiders aboard! Raiders aboard! Uh -huh. Help! Ah! Raiders! Don't move! It's not cool! Tread and walk. 
surprise. Frederick, uh, over here. Right on cue. Actually, there's more room over here. Can we can we bring it over here? Right there in the corner? Yeah. You're gonna love this, Papa. Right here. Yeah, on the floor. Actually, the tape the table might be better because when we open it, it'll look really great. Papa. Look, we've restored the family fortune. All your sentimental treasures, gold bars, Krugerrands. Break? Oh, no, just a little bend. Big ball in the corner pocket. The pirates are at least 20 minutes behind us. Oh, but plenty of time for your army to ambush. Oh. Army? What army? Hi, Blue. Papa, uh, uh, Frederick will raise an army. Well, in yonder village, there is a force of yeomanry, stout of limb and spirit, dedicated to the rules of law. But they lack a leader. Well, of course, you'll lead them. <laughs> what? Me? <laughs> no, 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 my dear. <clears throat> I've had my moments of glory. Why be selfish? My boy, the job is yours. Rid me of these villains, and Mabel's hand is yours. Not to mention the best parts. Sir, I'll ride straight away to lead these good men. Ow. Oh. 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 Well, I've been see since I was one. How the hell would I know how to ride a horse? Ooh. Well, I gave it my best shot. Famous last words, Frederick. Taylor May, Frederick. Well, well, if it's all the same to you, um, <laughs> I'd, I'd rather be buried at sea. Was I that bad to you? Able C person Frederick, prepare to die. No. Oh. That was for the life preservers. You're coming back with us, aren't you, Freddy? No. Because I've sworn to vanquish you all. Freddy, you'll be the death of me. Gladly. My once apprentice. I taught you all you know. Don't make me teach you how to die. What's the matter? Losing your grip? Uh, can't we find somewhere safe to kill each other? <laughs> Careful. You might cut yourself. Save yours. It may be your last. Oh. 
head of the family. Stop meeting like this. Drop it or... Nuts! Them too. Oh, why don't you two get on with what we came for? <laughs> Heart or throat? Heart! The Force, Frederick. Remember the Force. teach you that? Nah, I saw the movie once. Listen, you two. Oh, man. Kill him now and you'll never hear his secret. Secret? What secret? Very good. Your deed of apprenticeship. The fine print. Your date of birth? February 29th, 1856. I leave here. I don't get it. You were apprenticed to us. Until my 21st year. No, no, no. Until your 21st birthday. Leap years only happen every four years. Going by birthdays, you're still only five and a quarter. What? I merely make you aware of it, Frederick. I leave the rest to your sense of duty. Yes, duty. Duty and honor are all I have. That's the one good thing you taught me. So whatever it costs me, I will do my duty. Good lad. Then I guess I must tell you, General Stanley, Mabel's father, he's got your treasure hidden here. And he's raising an army to slaughter you. Us. A fight? Us? Splendid. Nobody loves a stoolie. Love? Oh, my God, Mabel. Give me an hour to say farewell forever. Oh, hell, an hour. When I was your age, I could say farewell three times in an hour. <clears throat> but not forever. We'll be taking the ladies with us. What? Mabel would rather die. Well, that can be arranged. We march on the castle tonight. They are doomed! I know she'll never understand. I gave my word. I just can't go breaking in She'll say she thinks I'm out of touch I've let my duty on her bound Come between the love we found How can I live without her? And she
doing in there? Oh, hiding. Hiding? My Frederick hiding? It cannot be the Lionheart trembles at the coming conflict. My love, a wimp. No, Mabel. A terrible disclosure's just been made. Then zip it up. You mean when I'm 84, you'll still be 21? Yep. Could be fun. No, Mabel. The tragedy completely eludes you, doesn't it? Look, don't you see? I won't even be able to marry you until... 1940? Frederick, you're not gay, are you? No, <clears throat> no. I mean, the way you and that pirate king get around in those rather feminine pleated shirts and all that leather. Mabel! Hey, I'm not prejudiced. I mean, what has this country got a Navy for? Screw them if they can't take a joke. You're weird. All kidding aside, Fred, tell me this. Are you a virgin? I don't know. Near enough. But you'd have me die one? No! But you're putting your sense of duty before me, before the lives of my whole family. But I have to. It's my duty. That's all I know. That's all I know. Frederick, these are the 1880s. You cannot live your life by the outmoded class conventions of a neo-imperialist society. Find your true center. What? You mean Zen piracy? Frederick, have you ever worn a whalebone corset? Well, no, we established that, didn't we? It chokes and strangles, Frederick. I won't be choked and strangled by someone else's dumb ideas of custom and duty. Would you, Harry? Would you? Never to know the rich and real, wondrous person beating and throbbing inside me. Frederick, can you see me throbbing? I see. I see I'm throbbing, too. Your duty is to us. Tell him, Harry, to our love. Mm. Mm. You, you know, you're right. You're right. Love is everything. Love is everything. Now go and massacre those oats. I can't. Mabel, you say you love me. As midnight loves the moon. But who am I? You've only known me for a day or two. I'm a sailor who spent all his life at sea and knows nothing, nothing about life or ladies. Only love. And if I should change, if I should change to keep your love, changing, I just might lose it. And that's the bottom line. To hold you, I have to let you go. See you in 1940. But I'll try for 1939. Love, show me the way when I am lost and hope begins to fade. Love, time 
Frederick has just crossed over the enemy. There's barely enough time for you to reach our force and lead them. Lead? I can't lead. I'm planning strategy. Papa. Just a snort or two. For courage. Courage. Well, I'm a theoretical soldier. The very model of a modern major. I am... The very, very, very... Won't go off. It's not loaded. But you are. Papa, I'm gonna lead our fearsome force against the foe. How much to keep this quiet? Now, listen, young lady. No, I'll tell you. If we win, a full pardon for Frederick. That's blackmail. A full pardon. Damn cheek. With women leading armies, we'll never have another decent war again. So true. So true. Tarantara, we had comfortable feel. Can we find the wisest thing? His flap artists and sing Tarantara. Oh, we're threatened by the brutes. Tarantara, Tarantara. And your otters in your boots. Tarantara. There he's nothing brings it round. Make the trumpet marshal sound. Like the trumpet marshal sound. Sergeant 
Fiend approach. Pirates at large. <laughs> this is a day for death or glory. <laughs> that is not a pleasant way of putting it. <laughs> Take heart. Frederick should have led you, but now I shall. Not pretty likely. You're a girl. No, Nikos. Yes, Nikos! We'll see what your inspector thinks of this! One minute. Fugitive. Fugitive. F-U. Up yours too, Froggy. What? Oh, oh, a fugitive. Name? Fr uh, Frederick. Strange name for a girl. No, my name is Stanley. Still a strange name for a girl. Mabel Stanley. Mabel? Tell me, Mabel. Uh, uh, about these parrots. Parrots? Parrots. Oh, the pirates. pirates! Well, they're on their way to the castle, led by the Pirate King. This uh, Pirate King, uh, uh, does he have a nurse? A nurse? Yeah. Uh, Ruth. I don't want to know its name. How fast does it run? You want to know how fast a nurse runs? An nurse! A nurse! What do you think this is? A parrot? Parrot? A parrot! Ah! Ah! Dolly, what's a cracker? Stupid girl. These are the parrots. Their names. Oh! Long John Silver, guy with the wooden leg, he wears a parrot on his shoulder. I mean, a parrot on his shoulder. Then there's Ruth, and she's a horse. I mean, a nurse. Look, why don't you just follow me to the fort, okay? Foot? Pick up those earth creeps as ever they are. <laughs> These pirates won't know what hit them. We'll put it into their reign of terror, butchery, arson, and rape. Not to mention robbery, flogging, kidnapping, and cop killing. It's evident. To enter, to enter, These intentions are well meant. To enter, Such expressions don't appear. To enter, to enter, Calculated men to cheer. To enter, Who are going to meet their fate? To enter, to enter, In an island nervous state. To enter, Still to us it's evident. These intentions are well meant. These intentions are well meant.
to it, lads. Now, let's try the pyramid. nice. Have you been, Fred? How have I been? Come on, let me hold you. Uh-uh. At least a kiss. Mabel, what is this? Frederick, we're enemies now. I thought you'd remember. Oh, you don't think I want it this way. It's up to you. Okay. Okay. If that's the way you want it, goodbye, Mabe. Goodbye. I'll always love you, come what may. Come what may? We'll all be murdered in our beds, come what may. Well, run, for God's sake, run. Death before dishonor. Besides, have you tried running in one of these things lately? It's a real bitch. Henry! Duty calls. Enemies. Enemies. Frederick! Him. Yeah. 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 
Fuck him, you idiots! Him! Anything you say may be taken down.
anchovies. Mr. Nice Guy. You have taken advantage of my better nature, my compassion for humanity, my gentle kindness to all creatures, great and small. Rip their lungs out! Feed them to the sharks, beginning with her! No! no. Wait a minute! Wait a minute! This is my dream. I want a happy ending. I want a happy ending! A happy ending? Papa! A full pardon for Frederick? No. Frederick has done nothing to be pardoned for. At every turn of fate and fortune, he has simply done his duty. Kneel, Frederick. Arise, Sir Frederick. I reward you with the fairest prize at my command. That is, if she still is at my command. My youngest daughter, Mabel. Oh. Papa, that's not a chance. Oh. Oh. Ah, the custom. You've got to do something. I can't get married till they are. We are helpless. Mabel, it's your dream. problem. That was no dream I had last night. I loved a woman. I want that woman for my wife. I accept. But that was you, Les. <sighs> well, in that case, lads, <clears throat> I accept. Wait, hey, but I thought you... Well, you and he... I don't get it. You will.
Your name wouldn't by any chance be Frederick, would it? <laughs> no. Don't suppose you came looking for me out of a sense of duty? Not exactly. It's not all sunglasses and autographs. 